and welcome to this video on balancing simple chemical equations. So the objective from this video is to be able to look at an equation like this and to be able to balance it to make sure you've got the same number of atoms on either side. So first things first, before we get on to anything, let's have a look at the main rules. So if you had something like this, what you're not allowed to do is change the formula of the compound. So here we have H2O. H2O is water. If you were to change that and put a little 2 after it to try and balance it, it's no longer H2O. It becomes something called hydrogen peroxide, which is a highly dangerous chemical. So what you've got to do, which leads on to rule number 2, is put a number in front of the molecule or compound. So you can put a number in front of the H2, in front of the O2, and in front of the H2O. Just like this. Rule number 3 is if you put a number in front of a compound or an element, you multiply everything in front of it by that number. So although I've times the oxygen by 2, I've also times the number of hydrogen by 2. So if you have a look here, two hydrogens on the left, two oxygens on the left, 2 times 2 is 4 hydrogens on the right, and 2 times 1 is 2 oxygens. So another way of looking at that is to have a look at the actual chemicals involved. So if I were to show you this in a different representation using models as a form, we've got hydrogen, H2, which are two hydrogen molecules joined together, oxygen, O2, two oxygen molecules joined together, which forms water, H2O. So the first thing I did was doubled the number of waters. What that's done is given me two water molecules so I haven't put a 2 in front of there and added an extra oxygen in. It's given me 2 of the same water molecule. So I now have 2 oxygens on the right. On the left, I've got 2 oxygens, so we say the oxygens are balanced. But we've only got 2 hydrogens. So if we put a 2 in front of that, what we're doing is doubling the number of hydrogens. So just bear those key rules in mind when I go through some more examples. So here we have an example. Um, we've got hydrogen H2 reacts with chlorine Cl2 to form hydrogen chloride. So the first thing you do is you pick the information out of the question. So we've got H2 plus Cl2 gives you HCl. The second thing you do is count up how much you've got on either side. So draw a table like I'm drawing here, and then have a look at what you've got in both your reactants, which are on the left hand side, and your products on the right. So you can see here we've got a little 2 down below, which means I've got two hydrogens, a little 2 down below after the Cl, which means I've got two chlorines. On the right, there's no number, so I've got one of each. The next thing you do is, how do you balance it? Well, I've only got one on the right, I need two, so you multiply it by two. And by doing that, it gives me two hydrogens. And because it's multiplying everything in the compound, it means that I've got two chlorines. Both of them are even on either side, so we can now say that this one is balanced. If we were to have a look at a slightly more complicated one, so aluminium reacts with oxygen O2 to make aluminium oxide, do exactly the same steps again. So we've got one aluminium on the left, and we've got two oxygens. On the right we've got two aluminiums, and we've got three oxygens because that little number applies to just the thing before it. Now my rule here is take the big compound, always take the big compound that's got an odd number in, which is aluminium oxide, and double it. If doubling it doesn't make them even, triple it, and so on. So this gives us four aluminiums and six oxygens. Then go back to the left. Aluminium, I need four, so it's multiplication. Four times one gives me four. And oxygen, I've got 2, I need 6. 2 times by 3 gives me 6, as you can see here. I've now got the same number on either side, 4 and 6 of each, which means that this equation is balanced. Right, let's have a look at a practice question then. So here it says we've got lithium reacts with water, H2O, to form lithium hydroxide, LiOH, and hydrogen, H2. Write a balanced equation for the reaction taking place. So what I would like you to do is pause the video now and actually have a go at the question. When you're done, we'll have a look through the answers so and unpause the video. Okay, you should have had a go at the question, so let's go through. So number one, write out the equation with the info given. So we know we've got lithium 
which in the periodic table is Li, reacting with water, H2O, and it forms lithium hydroxide, which is LiOH, so you put an arrow, LiOH, and hydrogen, H2. So that's your starting point. The second stage then is to count out what you've got on either side. So we can see here that hydrogen, that little two, only applies to the hydrogen, so we've got two. There's one oxygen, there's nothing down there, so one oxygen, and same with lithium, so we've got one. On the right hand side it's a little bit more complicated because we've got one hydrogen there and we've got two over there. So I would write it and show that you've got two plus one equals three. It helps you a bit later on. We've got one oxygen and one lithium. Step three is to choose the biggest compound with the odd number which in this case is lithium hydroxide. It could be that or water, but I would usually go with lithium hydroxide because it's got more elements in, and then either double or triple it to make it even. In this case, we're going to double it, so we'll have two LiOH. So the next step is to recount. So on the left-hand side, we haven't done anything, so we've still got two hydrogens, one oxygen, one lithium. On the right, though, we've now got that one hydrogen has been doubled so we've got two there and we've got our original two on the right hand side so two plus two gives us four oxygens we had one we've doubled the entire lithium hydroxide molecule so we've got two and the same with lithium we've got two the next step is to repeat steps one to four until it's completely balanced so to do that we start by looking at the left hand side and usually again go with the compound so let's put a two in front of h2o that now gives me two times two which is four hydrogens and will actually also give me two times my oxygen so two times one which gives me two so from doing this both my hydrogen and my oxygen are balanced this leaves me just with lithium I've got one need two so one times two gives me two and there's your answer so if we have a look at the mark scheme the uh, first marking point is just for the left hand side so picking out the Li plus H2O on the right hand side is the second mark so LiOH plus H2 and then you get the third mark for correctly balancing which is what we've just done noting that it'll also allow correct multiples like the one that I've drawn below okay all that's left in this video then is to have a look at the review section so hopefully that you're feeling a bit more confident with this have a look at this question sodium Na reacts with oxygen O2 to form Na2O so use the same formula that we've done before put that into a chemical equation and have a go at balancing it and if you're feeling confident have a go at watching the balancing harder chemical equations video which will be attached hi guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did click on the subscribe button down below Visit the website and you can find me on Facebook and Twitter.